So you'll be saying, ah, that the front is shorter than the back, I'll be longer than the back. How are we going to do it? When you take in this dart, hmm? when you take in this dart, if I cut through and take in this dart, my measurements for the front side seam and the back side seam will now match up. It will match up. So now we are done drafting. We can we are good to go to continue, then do our down part. But this remember we said we want to add band. Remember we said we want to add band though. <laughs> so since I want to add add band, we we'll band fall from the sky and enter the clothes. No now, you have to take it out. Since I want to add band differently, I don't want the dress to connect to each other uh, um, immediately. I want the band to demarcate their connection. Therefore, I have to remove the band. So what, what will I do? What exactly will I do now? Okay, how many inches band do I need? For me, I want to do two inches band. I want to do two inches band. Therefore, I cannot, but I don't want the whole two inches to, um, to be added to just the upper part. I want to share these two inches between the upper part and the down part, right? Since I want to share this two inches band between the upper part and the down part, two inches divided by, by, by two is one now. So I will give one to the up. I will give one to the down part. That means I'll take out um, one inch from the upper part. I'll take out one inch from the lower part. So this is what we just do now. So we are reducing our measurement though. And then people will say, is this one not long process? Why not say it from the beginning? It's not a long process. See, this is your dark line, your natural dark, your natural waistline should count for you. When you do this accurately, you get accurate results too. So, I will mark that one inch away. So, it becomes 16 inches now. I can see that, right? It becomes 16 inches. My front becomes what? 16 inches. So, I want to take out one inch for the upper part. I'll still take out one inch from the lower part. So can you see that? So I'll cut this out now. It becomes the one for the um the one for the band. So we're going to cut out from here. There will become the upper part. Here will now be your band. The same thing applies to the back hole. Yes. The same thing applies to the back. We want to share the band between the upper part and the lower part. That is between the basic bodies and the pant area. So I'm, I'm taking out one inch from here. It's now 14 inches. Ah. You'll be saying, is this not too short? It's not too short though. So if yours is a difference of one inch, fine. That means you'll not be doing two inches like I did here. Ah. Like I'm even talking so much stuff. Let's continue like this. Can you see that? So this now will become my band. You can see one inch band that I've created. So at this point now, you are going to cut out. Now remember that this is our dart, we are going to sew it. Okay? But if you don't want to include side that, there's another tactic you can apply, but if you want to learn that, you have to come to the foundational class. Ready start for a foundational class. I have different techniques to sewing. There are different techniques you can apply to sewing. And it will give you accurate results. And I've already told us that we have the freehand method. That I did a freehand method on how to make this. And it still gave me a good result. So the pattern drafting, when you understand pattern drafting, you will flow better with freehand. Yes. But if you don't know pattern drafting at all, and it's only freehand that you know, it's usually very difficult or it's not difficult anyway it takes a it takes a lot a lot of effort to get the pattern drafting area when you only know the freehand method so to learn every other tactic every other, there are other ways i can manipulate this without using my side that come to my foundational class and get it right okay so we're going to cut we're going to cut as i cut just watch me because I'm going to put this on a fast forward now.
So as you can see here is our pattern. This is the center back. Let it not confuse you. This is how you're supposed to keep it. Okay. It's the side that should match up. Okay. The side. So when I fold this in to take in my dart, when I, as I sew, as I sew, I'm going to take in this dart. So we're going to have a visible side seam. Okay. So by the time you sew, you can see, if I follow this line, by the time I fold, you can see that the line caved in. Now I'm having a new side seam here. Okay. So by the time you do this, by the time we sew, you are going to you're going to see it. I'm showing you everything. So by the time you sew, you're going to have this. So creating this tool that will give enough fullness for the bust to stay. You can see it's already creating the fullness for us for the bust to stay. So let's continue with the cutting. We're going to take out the band. You know, we are we gave we are doing charity work for the band. The upper part contributed one inch, the lower part will contribute another one inch. I don't know it now. So this will be for the band. We're going to use it. Now, can you see that? So, by the time I'm taking this dart, I'm taking this dart, I have my fullness here and my sighting is complete. Then later, the band comes in. Okay, two inch, two inches band will be here. Now, take note that I have not added any ease, uh, no allowance rather. And I didn't add ease though. I'm going to add my ease when I'm cutting. Now, I'm supposed to add my ease when I am making my pattern. It's very, very important to add your ease. Okay, it just came to my mind that this is a jumpsuit that is supposed to have freeness because we are working with a static fabric as a, a woven fabric, fabric that does not stretch. So if I was working with a, fa a fabric that stretches, I won't bother to add ease because I would like the clothes to fit to my body, right? So make sure you label your band. It will be very useful for you because we're going to make use of, of it also. So at this point, we are done with the upper part. Now let's look at how to do the down part as a pant area. See you in the next video.